Hello friends, it is Erin, or Everyday Erin, and I am back with another video. Um, I have a couple cross-stitch finishes that I want to share with you, and I'm going to do it all in one video. Um, the first one I have to share is Be Thankful from Country Cottage. And I'm... What is all over this? Okay, it's only on the plastic. I think I must have dripped some coffee on it or something. But be thankful from Country Cottage. And I made a whole bunch of mistakes up in the top. So I didn't do the bottom. But I think it. I think it's okay. And I was really quite afraid I was going to run out of fabric. Um, this isn't ironed. But I did bring out a board to show these on so they won't be see-through. There it is. Be thank I should have ironed this. Oh my gosh, that looks dreadful. Anyway. Be, be thankful. I've had this for a couple years and I'm glad I finally stitched it. It's really pretty. And I stitched this on. It says it was 32 count, but I think this is tw 24. <laughs> because, not 24, 28, because it looks huge. Um, <clears throat> it looks enormous. So I think it was mislabeled in my drawer, but that's okay. No harm, no foul. Be thankful. Oops, see, that's why I brought this out. By Country Cottage Needleworks. The next two patterns or projects I finished are from Frosted Pumpkin and they are digital patterns so I don't have them out here. This one I don't have to put anything behind it. But this is bugs. <laughs> this is Frosted Pumpkin Trick or Treat Couple. I think he's really cute. This took me like no time at all. Maybe two nights of stitching no time at all and I love this fabric and this is from Bestitch Me I have plenty more to do more because I have another small frosted pumpkin and I'll fit it on here and then I'll have room for something else and then this is because of my friend one of my bad influence friends um, this is frosted pumpkin Halloween town and here it is this took me, I don't know, like a week, week and a half to stitch, but it was so much fun. So much fun. And, of course, this also has errors. Um, but it's perfectly perfect to me. Perfectly perfect? Perfectly imperfect. That's what I'm looking for. Perfectly imperfect. And I had thought about finishing it on something, but I just don't think it's going... The thing I have is big enough. You can let me know what you think. You may or may not have seen this already. I don't know how the order I'm putting these videos out. Got this at the Target dollar spot. Oh, it might stick over just a little bit. I thought about... I don't like that. Nope, don't like it. Don't like it at all. Don't like it. <laughs> um, so I think I'm going to do a flat fold for this. I just have to find fabric because I don't have any Halloween fabric because I never thought I was much of a Halloween person. Apparently that's wrong. <laughs> anyway, Halloween Town from the Frosted Pumpkin. Lots of fun. Not going to show you my back because I am not a pristine cross stitch backer. <laughs> I am a carry the thread as long as it can go as long as it's not going to show up on the front. All right. That's that. Those are my finishes. Um... There should be more in the very near future, I think, if I can get my act together. I've been kind of all over the place, but I think that is all. And I think I'm going to go inside because it's cold. I do have some more, more videos to share with you, but I think I'm going to save those for another day. All right. Thanks so much for hanging out with me. Tell me down below what you're working on. Are you cross-stitching? Are you knitting, crocheting? Tell me. I don't care what it is. Tell me. Tell me in detail what you're working on. <laughs> All right. I'll talk to you all soon. All right. Bye-bye.